Eric Chris, một lần nữa trân trọng kính chào tất cả quý vị khán giả của trong truyền hình VBS đến với chương trình The Pro ở Việt Nam, người đẹp nhất Việt Nam. Rất là vui và cũng rất hân hạnh được giới thiệu đến tất cả quý vị Miss Teen of Southern California. Mời tất cả quý vị cùng chúng tôi trong tràng pháo tay thật nhầm nghĩa cho Miss Teen. Please welcome Miss Priya Teen. Sky. Hello Sky. Please start. First of all, I would like to say thank you so much to uh, Sky and to uh, Miss Tin Bri, right? Bri mm -hmm. Tin, basically. Um, please say hello to your new audience and your friend from around the world, please. Hello, thank you for watching today. And I want to say hello to Giselle and to the Kenneth Varless Training Center. To Hello to Kenneth and to Tony and of course to the rest of my family. Okay, that's great. Um, first of all, in the morning, and uh, you know, I'm sitting here and talking to you, and uh, you know, this is a perfect, uh, you know, good chance of, for me to interview a uh, young uh, woman, and um, you know, you got a beautiful face and uh, you know, smiling. Okay, it's um, you know, make my day, you know, complete. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, now. I would like you to share some you know, opinions, uh, your view with uh, your friends uh, and your new audience around the world, okay? Not uh, just sitting here, you know, asking the question. You are pretty and uh, you're confident, okay? What makes you pretty, actually? Um, what makes me pretty and beautiful is definitely my confidence. And I didn't always have this confidence my whole life. Um, I was always insecure growing up because of my weight and there is definitely a lot of bullying, but because um, of the career path that I chose, modeling, um, I was able to take that insecurity being so skinny and I basically turned my kryptonite into um, my superhero power. And now I am very confident with myself. I'm content with the way I look and um, I would not consider myself beautiful if it wasn't for my confidence. Oh, wow. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> uh, I really like your answer because you mentioned, you, know, you repeated, you know, confidence, confidence. Those are the best and that's the world, you know, we want to hear from you know, everybody, right? Without confidence, what can you do, right? Um, but uh, sometimes, okay, what makes you uh, scared? scared i think the number one thing that scares me the most is disappoint dis to disappoint and i really don't want to disappoint my parents or any of my mentors because they give me so much so many opportunities and they give me so much support and i don't want to waste any any opportunity that they give me and so that is definitely my biggest fear to disappoint and i i think i have yet to disappoint anybody important in my life so i'm really happy to say that okay all right <laughs> perfect um i had to uh, congratulations because uh, you just uh, got a title and you smile your confidence and you know some scary anything um but uh, you know there is um you know a motivation what motivation bring you to pageantry what motivated me to start pageantry was definitely my um, fashion designer that I work for, his name is Kenneth Barlis. So last year I recently started runway modeling and he introduced pageantry to me. And after doing a bit of research and finding out what pageantry and Miss Universe was all about, I was very inspired and I wanted to be a part of that because they do work for a lot of organizations and do work toward um, advocating for a lot of causes and I really want to be a part of that. Uh, yes. Um, um Thank you so much. Uh, last time, you know, when I interviewed uh, you for the first time, and then um, you mentioned something about uh, your hobbies. Um, you are um, a singer. You yes. want to become a professional singer. Yes. And actually, uh, you know, uh, you um, dedicate your time uh, to practicing singing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, now, let me ask a question, okay? Uh, why people, uh, why a lot of people, you know, they crazy about, you know, about the music? What brings you to the music? Does that make you fun, um, make you enjoy, or, you know, what is it? What motivation f for you to become a singer? What motivated me to become a singer was my role model, Angeline Quinto. Um, she's a Filipina singer, and when I was in the fifth grade, I discovered her first album for the first time, and I discovered that I can sing in Tagalog, but I don't know Tagalog. Um, I know how to read it and pronounce it, and so I memorize the lyrics and I sing it, and I was even lucky enough to open for her in a concert in San Diego, and I performed two songs for her. Wow, that's great. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Can we hear your voice now? Yes. Can you sing? Go. And I
it's so beautiful to me, well. Thank you. I'm telling you, okay, I'm singing too, but uh, you know, I think I, re I had to retire now. <laughs> 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 Actually, you. you know, you have a, a great voice. It's beautiful because, you. Uh, you know, you can use uh, the technique, you know, you go uh, up and down and you go to the natural, right? Mm. That's perfect. Uh, Thank where you. do you learn from uh, in Houston? Um, Houston, right? That's a yeah. Houston song, right? Yeah. You always love you. Okay. So uh, I started singing when I was two years old yeah. and I began lessons at, at two years old and I've continued training since then. Um, I did a lot of training in middle school and high school because I did go to performing arts school and I started training mostly in musical theater from that point on. Wow, okay. So what is, um, what and where is uh, your next uh, performance? My next performance? Oh, my next performance is going to be in Irvine, I believe. It's going to be at the next pageant. Okay. And I will be singing one song and... Okay. Yeah. All right. So you will be performing for the next event. Yes. Next pageantry. Yes. It's going to be in August. In August. Okay. Next August, right? Wow. That's perfect to me. I think, you know, I need to, to book the ticket now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go back to, uh, okay, the beautiful, and, uh, we're talking about the beauty and the fashion. Um, you mentioned something about, okay, the fashion uh, designer. Okay. Um, look at this. So today you have a, a beautiful dress and a lady in, in red here, right? <laughs> um, what do you think about, okay, the fashion now, are they, because, you know, I think it changed. It mm -hmm. changed so fast, right? So, um, what do you think, the classic one or the modern one, what, which one you prefer? Um, in modern style, uh, there's definitely a lot of the older styles, and I am really big on fashion, like I love clothes a lot, and there's definitely a lot of styles from like the 90s that I still wear, and um, today's trends are definitely a lot more vintage. And um, you see a lot of that in like a lot of magazines and definitely a lot on Instagram. Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> uh, it's a very, very good time for me uh, to, um, to meet you today because you know, you, you can share a lot of things about the fashion, about the vision, okay, the pageantry, mm -hmm. and then you know, the singing. So um, I believe, okay, in life, uh, what is a um, life goal? What is a life goal? What do you feel? What is my life? Um, my life goal, uh, all my life I've always worried about my career. I always wanted to be in the entertainment industry and so uh, my life goal is definitely to make it somewhere in the entertainment industry whether it's just to be a runway model or to be on Broadway or to just be a straight singer or actress. Yes, so I believe that you will become a superstar. <laughs> yes, no? I sure hope so. Okay. <laughs> I wish you can do it because uh, you're still young, you're very talented. Thank you. Uh, you just uh, gonna give me a song and I believe uh, you know, most of the people uh, will agree with me. Um, <laughs> you know, that's a beautiful uh, you know, uh, voice and a beautiful songs. And unfortunately, I have to answer your question you know, to become an entertainment. Most, I mean, the you know, majority, the percentage is very high, like you know, 60, 70 percent Okay, people, they don't success in their career. Mm -hmm. You know that, why? Right? It's tough. Behind the scene, behind the scene, there's so much, you know, burden in there. Because you work real hard, and then you spend a lot of money, okay? And, you know, most of people, they don't success in that career. If you success, I'm happy for you, okay? I'm, you know, uh, support you. However, if something, you know, ha you know, is not happened like you wanted, do you uh, regret it? Um, I don't believe in regretting going toward my passion. So even though I'm going toward a very, what is considered a risky career choice, um, I'm going, I'm going 100% and I have no regrets and I do have a plan B, but everything does happen for a reason. And I know that if things don't go the way it has to go, then maybe I need to wait a little bit longer. I need to make more sacrifices or, um, plan B is just what I meant to do. Oh, okay. Excellent. You know, I never heard, you know, uh, some younger uh, tell me they have a plan A and plan B, but actually you have a plan B. That's mean that the plan B is bigger than plan A. Um, in certain ways, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so for sure, okay, with your confidence, okay, with your plan in the future, and, um, you know, um, you know what you do, right? So I just am hoping I can use success uh, in the future and become a big star because I will be, you know, a big uh, supporter for you. Thank okay? you. Okay, uh, number one, okay, uh, I like whenever you have a CD, 
<laughs> Just uh, give me, okay, the first city. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> anyway, go back to, uh, okay, uh, the Pro of Vietnam. The Pro of Vietnam program is, uh, you know, uh, uh, to explore and to, uh, to, um, uh, to appreciate a lot of, uh, you know, young women, young folks, okay, uh, the beautiful and the fresh and all kind of talented, okay. Um, one day, I hope you success, if you become a big star, what would you contribute back to the community? Um, if I were able to get to where I wanted to be with my career, um, I would definitely, of course, donate a lot to my family, to my community, um, donate to causes and organizations I've always dreamed of helping, and I would like to be the representation for um, everybody that needs it. I would love to represent minorities, to represent the youth, and to be a voice for them, and to advocate for them in any way possible. Okay. Now, what, one, what do you want to tell my uh, young uh, schoolmate? Um, thank you for watching today. Thank you so much for supporting me through my journey and getting me where I am today. And follow me on Instagram at I'm not Sky. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm not Sky. That's very easy to remember. Yeah. Right? That's <laughs> lovely, you know. Um, one more thing, okay, before we say uh, goodbye here, okay. Uh, you mentioned something about, okay, you uh, help um, Charity, basically, mm -hmm. okay, charity work where you help, okay, the people you give back to your friend, okay, don't forget me, okay, oh, because God. I get a lot of things. <laughs> 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 uh, we're just uh, kidding here. Okay, um, thank you very much for your thank time you. and uh, being uh, you know, with, uh, with us uh, today. Hopefully, okay, we have a more program and I will, you know, uh, invite you to join us one more time. Mm -hmm. And before we say goodbye, uh, anything else you want to tell your friends, please go. Um, just thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Sure. Um, once again, thanks a lot, uh, Sky, uh, coming uh, with the VBS Television Network today. Before we say goodbye, please uh, stay tuned with VBS. Uh, we have uh, a lot of you know, special program and exciting follow-up. Again, Mrs. Sky and Andy Chris, thank you. Let's know you the pro of Vietnam, the new Vietnam. Mời tất cả quý vị cùng thưởng thức nhạc phẩm Đào Kiếm Như Mộng qua sự trình bày của nam ca sĩ Minh Chánh. Coi thế nhân gian đạo đi Dịu xanh ấn oán quanh mình Như giấc mơ kia hư ảo thôi Tình giấc một cõi mơ hồ Hư không một kiếp sinh tứ thôi Đấy rồi vội vàng đi rồi mang thích thương tình ta trái nhau Yêu nhau vội vàng chi rồi mang đến đau tình vương hận sợ Hoan ca rồi thở than sâu bi ai biết nỗi lòng buồn đau nặng vương mang mơ chi khúc cả tường phùng kia ta chẳng cần lợi danh chỉ mong gió đưa hồn ta lãng du không vương bàn chân ai đêm mây cuốn đi sâu bí một đời như em lượn trời cao hòa theo mây núi trôi dạt đời ta về muôn nơi phiêu du một kiếp anh hùng ca trong tim vẫn biết thế gian do trời cao cười khóc như kẻ điên dại nhân gian kia mấy ai hiểu ta dịu say một thoáng mơ hồ những oan ân kia vương mà chi tàn cánh tinh sắc xuân mộng nhân sinh một kiếp hoa thành hư không đến rồi vô vàng đi rồi mang tiếc thương tình ta trái nhau yêu nhau vội vàng chi rồi mang đến đau tình vương hận sầu hoan ca rồi thời than sau bi ai biết nỗi lòng buồn đau nặng vương mang mơ chi khúc ca từng phùng kỳ ta chẳng cần lợi danh chỉ mong gió đưa hồn ta lãng du không vương bần trần ai để mây cuốn đi sầu bi một đời như 
em nụ trời cao hoa mây thơm muốn trôi dạt đời ta về muôn nơi phía sau một kiếp anh hùng ca. Hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn